this time on Weekend Rental, we try to climb Tower 57, a twin stick shooter slash action RPG set in a diesel punk retro futuristic dystopia. This is a co-op game, so we tried it out, taking turns. Let's check out some gameplay before we get to our review. This is kind of like a really good looking Game Boy Advance game. That's a great like a GBA game. You can probably just play on my computer. Wait, I'm reading the plot. I'm gonna do too much story. Uh... Oh, you don't get to just kill everybody, huh? No. It's not without feeling. Of, kind of okay, this is actually that. not what I thought it was, but okay. Yeah, what do you think, think it was? Perfect. I literally thought it was like a really fast, like, gonna die, uh, Twin yeah. six year thing and and yeah, okay. that was the duck game I posted. I don't. Yeah, this is this is Chrono Trigger. With what the fuck is going on? Dude, what are these people doing? This is like an <laughs> a swarm of ants. <laughs> this is odd. Uh, Fifty-seven. <laughs> yes, that's where we're at at the same time. It's a. Uh... I thought it was going to be a tower defense game, so I'm really it's... pleased. But right now, it oh, was it was guns. on my list as a twin stick shooter, but like I don't. It is a twin stick shooter. But like, not, yeah, but there's it's, story. It's not gravity. <laughs> oh no, you got to be slugs. All right. Everything uh, bounces in a very good way. Yeah, it does. Some. It's all slimy. Ew, it's all slimy. I... Why is there so much story? Yeah, this is not what I was expecting at all. No, I I don't hate it, but. Well, I want to know uh, how to get to the, get to the action, get you know? We have to play this for a solid 15 hours, I guess. That's a good number, right? <laughs> you know. Oh, nope, nope. I got, a, I got a maggot key or something. <laughs> All right, down the hole. All right, now we got a dungeon. We're going to go kill yeah, some rats in the sewer. Yeah, we get to the roguelike now. <laughs> I want to use my tool. Oh, oh mine's a time cool. freezer. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's, that's cool. cool. Uh, not wearing a shirt. <laughs> yeah, you are a tool for doing that, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Asshole. You, uh, forgot your shirt, bud. My only shirt is an affliction. <laughs> is that a dancing so club? So, oh, no. no, but it should be. When, <laughs> when I pray, right. I can be <laughs> fictional what characters what can't read. screen? Say. <laughs> it was super <laughs> weird. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln with a cheese grater. Is like a naked going? guy. What is this? Is I don't know. Is there a difference? Banana. I don't, I'm going to go that. Oh, that was me. <laughs> Sorry. Era. Depends on the era. That's... What oh, era? Geez. Oh, it's got a fucking flamethrower. Yeah. The cheese grater's a flamethrower. Hey. Late in life, Abraham Lincoln loved a green cheese grater. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, oh, well, okay. I'm stuck on the, the poop pipe. Nice knowing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like you. Right. That's, That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. We'll see you later. Well, <laughs> you can't move the screen any further. Can you change your character with the B button? <laughs> Maybe. Nope, they're all dead. <laughs> can you dash out of it? No, um, no, no, we, we don't. Just, you just go north. We just come in here and we look at those things and then leave. <laughs> yeah. It's like a Game Boy Advance game. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. less shitty yeah, shit. I'm really good at shooting. It's, really shit. <laughs> it's worse. I'm worse than diarrhea at shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like worse than diarrhea is just a pile of mud. Just a pile of cash. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Simply press trade. Oh, I can trade what is you. Trade. Items. Yeah. What? Yeah. That doesn't. <laughs> like, <laughs> simply press trade. Yeah. These yeah, tutorials the aren't really all the way there. Only press trade on my controller. Press the Little trade button. Trade. Oh, I see. I dropped some mine. Where you want to go, Ed? Up. I like how you're carrying a fucking like caution cone thing or yeah. whatever. It's just a <laughs> the barrel. Oops. Full of destruction. Really Is that an amber ball? <laughs> I think it's a fun ball. Those look like amber okay. balls. To me. I like this enemy a lot. Oh, amber is the color of my energy. Killed my sorry ass. Crab cannon. 
<laughs> He's a crab with a big cannon. Oh, I'm a cop. That's the worst. Got like a mortar attack. Oh, I forgot about that when one. When I first saw it, it looked like um, what was that game called? Soldiers of Fortune or something? Uh, like yeah. Genesis? Yeah. Um, I thought Soldier of Fortune was a side scroller on the Genesis. No, it's, Actually, I think, it's a top no, I think Soldier, I think that's a port of Chaos Engine on the Genesis. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. I, I double check, but I think it might be. Okay. Why didn't we look up tool. Chaos Engine? It literally looks like this. Grenade. Right. Uh, yeah, right. it seems, Bumper, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you oh, no. it, you'll just switch, and then if you hmm. hold it, you can choose. I still don't one. know what this means. Yeah. <laughs> you can oh, give price. I just threw an amber ball. What am I doing? Hold on, tra you're trading. You threw an amber <laughs> ball. Yeah, I have no idea. Like, how do you get out of this? Menu. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm struggling. You just gave away all your stuff. Sure. <laughs> get a vial. Rich. I'm not quite sure what the benefit would have been to keep it, but I take I take a second hand power glove. Oh, player two is looking rough. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's me. Honey. Oh, you crab. Met your match I'm now, crab. Die. You're on fire. Eh. Wait till I kick him. I'm waiting. <sighs> <Ooh. laughs> oh, shit. I'm out. I can't. Alright, I gotta pick a better weapon. Alright, whatever that is. Shitty real gun. What the fuck was that? Money. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. hacking. Uh oh. Ice burn. The, I didn't. The um, thumbnail hacking. of the scientist looks nothing like the character. Yeah, her hair is different color. And, like, she's kind of like plain Marty McFly or something. But yet, yeah. everyone's like, oh, that's Abraham Lincoln. I no. That definitely looks like Abraham Lincoln. Look at the hat. Yeah. yeah, he's got the big hat. He's, like just like, he's got the, the beard thrower. Classic That's... blue suit that Abraham Lincoln always wore. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All, my, all my Abraham Lincoln action figures were blue suits. <laughs> we're just in like... I'm a big fan of the squirrel nut zip as yeah. Blue suits. <laughs> 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 going to start us ballroom tonight. <laughs> Whoa. It's on fire. Yeah, they really cool. Yeah, yeah they are. Right, works great. Not to disparage anybody about anything about this game, but it's way more complicated than I'm looking for. Oh. Just no. Oh, barrel crab. Ready for this game? Yeah, that's where we got awarded. Oh, we were on hard mode, so yeah. we were on hard mode. Yeah, we we're this like baby mode stuff. Oh, oh. Street shark. What? Oh, no. my legs off. Wait. Are you in what the hand? fuck? Just oh. bit my legs off. Uh. <laughs> Arms. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, really accurate. I think this is where the game starts to get profile. All right. Wait, mm -hmm. What was that noise? <laughs> if your friends lose their life, okay. <laughs> That's kind of cool. What's the interact? Oh, oh my god. I think A is interact. <laughs> <laughs> Go buy him some new Toss him. Toss him in the leg manufacturer. Okay. I don't. Can you what are you walking egg? on? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Fucking <laughs> <laughs> uh, like syndicate day Very of funny. You Where got some money, yeah. You... It also has his his like hat on. Eh, it makes sense. It doesn't really now, but yeah. <laughs> I like that the that they make her wear a little police hat in the like mm -hmm. body scan or whatever. Yeah. Wears hats. There's a lot of great touches in this that are This is a cute game. Now that we're like actually digging into a level, I'm I'm enjoying this. The pixel a lot. art is fucking phenomenal. It is. Hmm. Waterproof pants slow. protect you from toxic water. Checks out. Cost five hundred uh, gold. Checks out. No that thumbnail is amazing. Burger. Yummers had a burger. What we're supposed to go right here. To here. This. This is a door. Right, there's sale points. Uh, <laughs> Can you what? actually get hit by the car? Or? Yeah, it hurt yeah. yeah. Okay. It hurt Both guys by it. This is... Makes sense. Oh man, I hate this fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually kind of fucking infuriating. Like it. it... Well, I don't care. 
I don't care about None anything that's matters. going on right now. And it's just uh, getting in the way. Beg pardon? Blah, blah, blah. What happened when, like, someone's leg just randomly fell off and had to throw him into, like, a replicator? Yeah, that was cool. That That's, like, the pace that this thing should be at, right? Like, no, we're in an RPG town right now. Yeah, this is some... <laughs> Some fucking 1996 Super Nintendo trying too hard time. Why is yeah. this game co-op? Is what I want. To like, <laughs> I, why would you want to do any actually, of this? That's a really good point. Like, I don't. I, I feel like it should be a single player game. Like a, yeah, this would be a fine single player game. I wouldn't mind being so. Yeah, this confused. kills the face for a co-op game like, completely. If it was just me, uh, yeah, I still hate it. it but at least I can free pick somebody else with it. I feel like I'm playing a RPG maker thing. I feel like I'm playing a random Dragon Quest game and I haven't picked it up in a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, like where you just walk around and you're like, I guess I should talk to some people and maybe I'll figure out where I was going. <laughs> All right, I got an objective. I love how his fucking pants are just like halfway off his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he just he could have a long butt. It's just like Steve. fucking <laughs> green mint like boxers or whatever is going on there. He's objectively naked. the best. He's aerodynamic. Yeah. This smooth man. I didn't know, but he's one of the best yeah. video game characters ever. Yeah. I wanted to be in the next Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a sword. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, you lost your arms. Yeah. Well, I, I just lost my whole body. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go over to our verdicts. Uh, first off, I'm going to have Neosense give his thoughts. So... I think that Tower 57 is an all right game. I'm not sure if it gets more fun uh, or if at a longer session, it would make all the parts would make more sense. But as we do at Weekend Rental, I have to review this game from the slice of co-op uh, gaming that I did today and really everything did not add up. Uh, it should, <laughs> I would like it a lot more if it was a dungeon crawling, you know, uh, Smash TV style twin stick shooter with all the kind of visual character that it has. And then when that dungeon level was over, I maybe buy some upgrades and jump to the next dungeon. I have absolutely no idea why they threw us into some big confusing town uh, with unclear objectives. Really like a lot more RPG the, the, or even story than I think is necessary for this sort of game. I give it a three because I, and that's like in the middle of the road kind of rating as in i really feel fairly indifferent to this i give it a rent again because i think there could be something really cool inside of this game i just i wasn't convinced with the time that i spent with it um but i would love to hear what you think about it pants problems yeah uh it's tower 57 it's deceptively complicated game that it, it, it's weird it like marries traditional RPG mechanics with twin stick shooters. There's a lot of depth to the game, and personally, it probably would have been better as a single player RPG. Uh, it has a ton of charm and carries a lot of the weird European Amiga Commodore DNA. Um, it has insanely good sprite work, cool music and, and sound, and like the game system in itself is like hefty as shit. So it's, it's cool in that way. Um, I probably sink some time into it on my own, but as a multiplayer game, it's kind of it's kind of hard to to recommend. It's it's I get why they did it because uh, you know it's it, it it represents itself as a twin six shooter, but it kind of isn't. Uh, but yeah, my my main takeaway really is how accurately this game depicts the mid '90s European computer aesthetic. It nails it from the sprite work systems even down to the weird art direction. It's cool, and I definitely tried again in a different different situations so uh yeah th i'd say you know three three point five whatever uh down to see what filter thinks of it yeah um so i give this a rent again maybe uh personally i don't think i would actually play it again um but i do think there's a lot of nuance to uncover here and like it does seem like you know if you sit down and invest some time into the learning the systems and how everything interacts uh 
it gets more fun. But um, like Neosense, the town sections really just kind of killed my vibe. Uh, I don't see why they were there unless it was like a Kickstarter goal uh, to do more sprite work. They look great. Uh, they are confusing as hell to navigate. Um, I think the point is to go to towns and save, but it's not streamlined how you get between them. Um, I, I think this is a little too complicated to co-op casually, but if you had somebody who plays it on their own, um, and you play it on your own, and you've both played it a bit and want to do a co-op run together, I think that could be really fun. Um, but for me, it's just not a uh, pick up and play and like uh, arcade instant gratification kind of thing uh, that I would like out of a twin stick shooter game. Um, I think the RPG works against it for me personally. So I gave it a three. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'd actually end up playing it again, um, but I have it, so I might fire it up and see if I if I like it on a second review. Um, Mega Man, man, though, uh, I, I see you sitting there kind of quiet. What do you think of this game? I, I think I actually gave it one of the, the highest scores out of everybody here. I was I was kind of uh, thrilled with it, really. It, it was uh, it was surprisingly fun for what it was i uh i kind of liked the aesthetic of course it's good i like the sprite work that they did the explosions were nice the music was good uh it's it's kind of like a it reminded me a lot of smash tv of course with the directional twin stick shooting and everything and the uh just the crazy weapons you can pick up along the way i thought those were pretty fun um but it did it did the town part you were talking about there was kind of did seem a little confusing but i can see where where it's kind of you go into this dungeon and you're doing all this crazy shit for so long and then you kind of need a, a breather a little bit so you go into town and you try to collect yourself but now there's all this story getting in the way of the fun dungeon stuff so i didn't really didn't really quite understand why i had all the story myself but uh you know, I did. I did enjoy the time I had with it. I feel like you could you could probably work out some more fun. Like if you gave it a little bit longer, or uh, you know, if you were just tried to get into it a little bit harder, it, it could it could probably uh, end up being a good time. But uh, yeah, I I would definitely buy it if it was on sale. Uh, I think it I think it was certainly worth the time. Uh, Speaking of time, uh, time on time, how, how do you feel about this game? Thanks for asking, Mega Man Man. Uh, this game, it's, uh, I feel like, I feel like there's like a lot of meat on the bone there, but I'm not hungry enough to eat it. Like, it's, it's, how do I put this? Like, I, I, I would, like, not dissimilar from Filter, I would rent again, maybe. Um, you know, it's like a, to stick with the food, uh, analogy, like, it's like a type of food you're like, I guess I should try this again sometime, but it will literally never occur to me to do so. Um, the town section that kind of brings, that, that was brought up, like, I want that to be good. Um, but it felt really sort of just confusing. Like, I, I wanted it to feel like navigating the town in Final Fantasy VII or something. Have, have some sort of endearing thing to do. I don't know, in the midst of all of it. But the payoff, you know, you got all this context, story-wise and even visually, the payoff is not all that great of gameplay, is, is what you end up with. I don't know. I, I wouldn't buy it uh, if, if, if it were presented to me. Uh, 2.5 at best. The, and the pixel graphics thing, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tired with that whole thing. Don't buy it. Maybe rent it again. <laughs>